An emergency call to a hotel room in Asheville over the weekend with six people taken to the hospital. Fox Carolina is live in Asheville looking for answers. That's right. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer has been there all day getting some uh, details from the police department and the hotel. So what did you learn, Brooklyn? Well, we've been asking questions. We have some of those answers. Here's what we know so far. The Asheville Police Department was called to the Grove Park Inn on Saturday evening. They were called there to treat six people for suspected overdoses. This comes just one day after Buncombe County issued an alert across the community following a recent increase in overdoses involving fentanyl and opioids. It's a battle that's much bigger than any single human being, and asking for help is honestly the only way that we're going to get through this. Holland Steen knows firsthand. He's the admissions coordinator for Asheville Recovery Center. He's also recovering from addiction. I'm in recovery myself, came through a program, needed to come through a program. There's no shame in asking for help. Experts agree the opioid problem is growing here in western North Carolina. Buncombe County officials say they're responding to at least two to three overdoses each day. On Saturday night, Buncombe County EMS and Asheville Fire Department responded to Grove Park Inn. When police arrived at the hotel, first responders were already working on two people. APD says all six were in a hotel room. They were taken to the hospital and administered Narcan, which is used to treat known or suspected opioid overdoses in an emergency. Steen says opioids and fentanyl are growing concerns, and they're admitting more and more people to the center. The reality is fentanyl is becoming more and more prominent in all areas across the world. It's just easier to obtain, it's easier to sell, and the reality is, is five years ago it was one substance, and now it's this substance. Five years, there'll be another one. Narcotics were found in the hotel room, but Asheville police can't confirm that Noel was involved until test results come back from the state lab. Just a day before, an alert went out to Buncombe County residents, warning the community about a significant increase in overdoses due to fentanyl and heroin and cocaine. Community partners like Asheville Recovery Center were encouraged to pass out Narcan and fentanyl test strips. It's necessity. You know, we have individuals that purposely know that they're using fentanyl and have Narcan for the likely event they need it, right? But all of our centers, we try to keep Narcan, all of them are stacked with Narcan. Well, the Grove Park Inn says that they will continue to work closely with health care officials and police while APD is still investigating this incident. Reporting live in Asheville, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.